Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be turning my brows into something a little bit different. So has anyone heard of the Fox Brow? People like Bella Hadid have them, Kendall Jenner, she has them, so they're a bit like a supermodel brow. I think I would call them. And it's where you take the tails of your brows off to give you that like facelift looking brow. So I'm super excited to try it. Let's get started. This is usually how I wear my eyebrows. So I'm gonna cleanse all my makeup off them and then we're gonna start with the base so we can begin the fox brows. First thing is we're gonna give them a tint. So I don't want my eyebrows too dark, so I'm gonna tint them the normal shade I normally tint them, which is um, dark brown and light brown. So I'm using HD tint, so you don't have to worry about where it goes on the skin. Now the tint's on, I'm going to leave it on for about a minute. I don't really want to leave it on for any longer because HD tint develops really fast. After I've took the tint off, I'm going to vanish them. So vanish comes with the HD kit and it's basically a cleanser, but it obviously contains something in there that stops the tint from developing. After I've tinted the brows, I'm going to just comb them through and I'm going to sketch out where I'm going to take away. So I'm literally going to draw my waxing lines in. So this is the important bit. So I'm just sketching out where I'm going to wax. So I obviously want to create a flatter looking brow. So I want to keep all those hairs here, but I want to get rid of my tail. I'm just deciding how much of my tail I want to get rid of. I'm going to look bold. I'm going to look bold. Okay. So now I've sketched out where I'm going to wax. I'm literally going to take away all this tail here. Oh my God, look how much hair that is. So all that tail's coming out. I'm gonna take a little bit away from my bulb under there, but only a little bit. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more out in that arch, only a tiny bit, but just a smidge in that arch. And then just crisp the tops off a little bit as well, just so there's a little bit more shape. Jesus Christ, I'm really scared. That is a lot of hair coming off. <laughs> 10 years of growing my eyebrows. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm so scared. Guys, I'm so scared. Why have I done this? Why have I done this? Oh my God, I'll like a different person. <laughs> oh my God. I actually look like a different person. So I never have neat brows either. I have like really bushy boy brows and I'm going for like these sleek looking brows. I'm going to stencil it out in the same way as I did to that one.
My clients always say it hurts when they have the eyebrows waxed. It doesn't actually hurt having your eyebrows waxed at all. And guys, look how much hair is coming off my eyebrows. If I'm gonna grow my eyebrows back, it's gonna take quite a while. I'd say anything from two months to six months. So it depends how fast your eyebrows grow. I'd only really recommend this style as well for people who don't actually find growing their eyebrows difficult. People who find their eyebrows difficult to grow, I would not recommend it because if they don't like it, your eyebrows may not grow back. <laughs> oh my God, I look so ugly. Okay, I'm gonna do the top bit now. Guys, I look so ugly. Why did I do this? Kendall Jenner, why did you make me do this? Maybe I should have left them a bit more bushier and maybe not as sleek, but oh well. Do you know what? I probably I probably will like these eyebrows in a few like weeks time when they start growing out a bit. But because they're so nice and neat, I just I just look like a different person. Do you know what? I had my eyebrows HD'd like probably seven years ago with a girl and she came and did them and I said I wanted them really thick and really bushy <laughs> and I came out like this and I wanted to cry. <laughs> Do you just want to look at this area of hair that's just come off my eyebrow? <laughs> There's so much hair. I just need to take a little bit of oil and wipe my eyebrows to make sure there's no wax residue on there. can see I've obviously taken all this area off which usually I'd have because I'd leave that as a teeny bit of an arch and obviously I'd bring that round to have a longer tail so I've took all that area off to try and obviously give me a little bit of a lift here so I still think I need to go ahead and probably take a few more hairs out of here and maybe even a couple more here to create like a little bit more of a straighter brow So this is the look I was actually going for. I feel like mine's a little bit more groomed and I think I need to take a teeny bit more of my tail off. I know it sounds crazy, but I actually think I need to take just a few more hairs out just to lift that tail a teeny bit more. I've decided I'm gonna take those little hairs there away. Let's do this! Yeah, that's definitely, definitely lifted that tailbone, hasn't it? Yeah, that looks like a different brow. Tail, gone. Okay, so I've done my shape on both eyebrows. I honestly feel like a different person. I definitely think I look like, I don't know, like more, not chiseled, but I definitely look, I don't know, yeah, like I've had a bit of a facelift or a little bit of Botox because my forehead and my eyes look more open. So yeah, I do kind of like it. I'm just going to finish with my makeup, so I'm, I'm just going to put a bit of foundation on to reduce the redness and, and then I'm just going to finish with a little bit more of a, a brushed up look um, because these are a little bit too groomed for me. I just want to see what they look like with a little bit more texture in them and then yeah, we will look at the finishing results. So the fox brow is done. Let's have a look at the before pictures to see if they actually look different. I 
actually really like them. Did not think I was gonna like them. I'm like OCD about taking hairs off my eyebrows because like I love to leave my eyebrow hairs on. I hardly ever wax them or thread them. And it actually has made me look way more chiseled, I think. I think I look way more structured on my face. I don't know how that's possible because I have literally a round meatball head. I hope you liked the video. Go out and try the fox brow and send me some pictures when you've tried it. Thank you. Goodbye.